Hello, and welcome back to my base in a box. Um, so I'm back at the iron template, the iron where we were designing the revised iron site. The reason for that is I have spent a while watching iron, and it is vastly better. So it does not jam up now getting trains out. What does happen is ore trains get stuck trying to get in, and plate trains get stuck trying to get in. And if the right combination of plate trains gets stuck, then we get a gridlock around here. Um, the other thing that's happening is trains are sat in here when there's somewhere for them to go, uh, but we are putting both ore and plate trains down the same bit of access road. And um, because of that, they are getting into contention with one another. Now you can see here we've got four, four ore trains here, another two ready to come in, but they're sat here because um, you have to get a certain amount of trains through before you can get the next train accessing. So what I thought was, could we do something similar, putting in a dedicated line so let's take this all the way to the end. Okay. Shift click to go over that rock. So the idea is perhaps we can separate out the plates and ore trains coming in. Now there's going to be some track crossing. There's just no way around that because we're using two directional trains. We've got two loops, the loops are going to cross. But perhaps we can minimize that as far as possible. Okay. Um, so, we have this line coming in. What if it never overlapped? So what if we took a blueprint of that, got rid of all this, okay, and that. What if we stuck this in like that? So this is now an, a dedicated ore stacker. There's no plates going around here. Right, so I... This is a bit nasty. I'm trying to fit it in. But that looks to me like it might work. Um, I can't really move the existing stacker further to the right because then there isn't room for the um, PAX station. Okay. There we are. So, Let's re-signal all this. Um, actually, let's take this out. So the first case is a special case. Um, it's It doesn't branch off quite the same way. Okay, let's bring our plane down because it's gonna get very long journeys to walk otherwise. Okay. Right, so. This is the access for logistics, so for supplying bots and supplying fuel. And that comes from the outside world. This is the ore, is it? Let's check. Is that ore or plates? That 
that's plates and that's all. Okay. So plates needs to merge onto this upper line. Let's take all these signals out for now. That's that that one's good. And we can put one there, and we can put a well, we would put a choice there, but first of all, let's do that. Do that. Okay, so now this can only go in there. This needs to be pulled off, and we will start signaling this. So we're crossing over something, we need to make choices. We need to break that block up, break that block up. We make decisions here about where you're going to go. Another decision there. If you've got this far, you've made a choice. If you've got this far, you've made a choice. If you've got this far, you've made a choice. All right, let's check all the blocks are nice and small. Um, this run here, is it worth breaking it up? What's the circumstance? So a train would come in. Ah, well, it certainly needs to be broken up there because you have got through the junction. Okay. I think that's correct, isn't it? Yep, I like that. Um... Okay, so is the how similar is this to this? Let's take a blueprint of this. Oh wow, that actually drops in. Brilliant. So if I take apart that much, is that enough? Yep, it is. And of course, now I'm out of the thing I need. Right, so this blueprint here, let's give this an icon. And I'm going to grab a bit more rail because I want to actually build this once so that we can blueprint it. And bulk storage is down here somewhere. That's it. So if it's supplying me rail from here, this is where I need to be. It's also where I need to be to drop off all those boxes. How are we doing for burning through burnables? Okay. Okay, it must be bringing through, yeah, it's bringing through the rails from the construction site. Right, we're getting rid of the boxes. So let's hope we can do this change to the build. Um, without breaking the build. Come on, pick up my boxes. Well, that'll do for now. I've got enough rail to be getting on with. Okay, and then um, let's work out. So that to there, I think, is pretty minimal in what I take away. And that goes down. Then here. Yep, it just needs to be enough to cover those 
cover the signals. I'm just checking there's no hanging chads. Yeah, look good, doesn't it? Okay. So let's take a blueprint. And I want to take a blueprint of the whole thing. Because um, I don't think we've modified anything else. Okay. So, blueprint. And station names. And pink for the whole thing, yellow for the part thing. Okay, we need to rework the junction again. Let's head over. Because I, I really do think we're at the point where it's a train issue rather than a capacity issue. Okay. So, let's pull out the pink and set our zoom to something that we can work with so that we can see how this overlays. Yeah, so we need to do something pulling up some track here. Let's do that. So we need to pull up that. Let's go with that. Okay. Um, it's the pink one. Yeah, that goes down. Good. Then I need to take out these blocks. Let's zoom in. Now let's break the, the track um, when this is gone. There we are. Okay. So signal to signal is what needs to come out. At least with everything being built in blueprints, the fix each time is the same. I guess the uh, power of automation is the same all everywhere, isn't it? You can uh, repeat things lots of times, which makes you a lot more efficient, but it also means you can make the same mistake much more efficiently. Okay, this one. Tell you what, with nuclear construction bots, I certainly treat them very differently to ones that need to recharge. I think we can put down some of these. Yep, and then we can patch in the rail later. Flying backwards is confusing. we decided this was the same patch for the whole build, not just for all but the first one. It'll go down across the whole build. Okay, and there'll be a great big hole in our production stats.
Okay. So let's find this. Okay, there we are. We've done it around the right way. The train has found its way in. Okay. I'm pretty low on rail. I'm going to have to go back and get more. Wow, we managed to get two trains through at the same time. Okay, back to base, let's pick up some more rail. And we decided that, oh, this is really good. This is all full up. Uh, we decided that rail was being delivered to us from the rail manufacturer, which is over here somewhere. So let's sit here. There we are. Lots of rail. Do we have our thousand? No, 600 and something. But We'll call that good. Okay, let's head off. And up we go. And here's smelting. Okay, and it's probably quite unhappy now, yeah, because it just can't access enough stations. Okay, so this is a very nice way to lay, lay rails, isn't it? trains coming in. Wonderful. They're all bunched up obviously because they um, were no path for a little while. But the proof of principle is there that these trains are heading off pretty much as soon as they can. Yep. This looks like much better rail throughput. And let's see if this is preferring to go to an empty station. Yes, it is. Okay, and because we have a stacker now, a dedicated stacker only for ore, this means we can increase the number of ore trains. Okay. So the number of ore trains is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20. We can put 18 in um, the, the pipe. 
we and then we've got two left over for the stacker we can deploy two more ore trains because there's room now in the stacker for two more ore trains okay I've got a feeling the next thing that needs re-engineering are these junctions because these junctions were made for um, two four trains not for two eight twos so they're slightly too small as you can see for trains um, and in any case we're taking off two lanes not four in reality um, so I'm gonna have a go at re-engineering those I think possibly in the next episode um, yeah because we have trains they're getting out of the mines and then they're getting snarled in these t-junctions Okay, let's head down to here because I want to see if this is getting backed up. No, it's not. Okay, even with this throughput, it's not getting backed up. So let's copy that schedule. Okay, we're going to fly home and deploy two more of these. But you don't need to watch me do that. Um, I'll deploy them off camera. And next time, uh, I think we will look at redesigning that T-junction for the 282 trains. Um, yeah. And see if that lets us uh, see if that lets us get through some more of the throughput issues. Okay, well thanks very much for watching. Um, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.